back to another video. My name's Darren Carr. I'm here playing some What's Legacy today. In the previous episode, we clock. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in the nation class. I hope those assignments were challenging. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow it's through. Very early for me. Now. As you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it, but I see triumph in the end. A measured perception, very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy, and that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it. Now, why not practice the Descender. Excellent. I think you have it. Let's head off to beast then. Is that little guy's meant to take up the dragon? There he's going! He's tickling it! Say that uh, I've got some awesome It's never, never tickle a sleeping dragon. I like that. It's cool. 
little more mural. Okay, they're away. Should never have trusted them. A direct approach oh, is not the one I should take. Uh, I think that's six and zero, which, nine, which is six, obviously. Needs to be three. Let's see if that works. No. Oh, what is th what's the squid? It's not eight because the spider's eight. Page. I'm just looking over my phone because it's a bit easier. We're constantly going into individual door. <gasps> oh, it's seven. Uh, so it needs to be four. Seven. Oh, seven plus unicorn is one. Eight. Oh, it's V one. Sorry. It's, it's too early, guys. It's far, far too early. If I got the first one right. I did get the first one right. Revelia. Medusa. Medusa. Okay, let's head off to beasts. Smooth mechanic. It's pretty cool. Why am 
I sleeping on the ground again? I think people will pass Welcome, me like Jesus. everyone. Again. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> I don't want to practice on Gerald. Gerald. You can use my uh, brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think. I like to think it enriches his experience. I'm thinking lovely thoughts. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? I wouldn't mind at all. So I just stuff his tongue up my nose like he did you. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. Of he likes me. He seems very nice. He is. Like Kindness person. is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, oh, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Ah, the little cats. With a scorpion tail. Oh, a couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> Stupid thing. Oh, he's a Slytherin. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tus tus, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. Her name Ancient is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. That's right. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. I'd like some whiskers, please. Her knees was really took to you. They know I a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Right ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. I'd like to speak with you too. If Hello, was. Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I really? did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. 
You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's Poacher Pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. Oh, the Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I think we have to unlock the... Psst! Psst! Over here! Lab sack first. Oh. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Yeah, Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Oh, she's gonna kill me and take my kidneys. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Go on, chop, chop. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Yeah, well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. She's fine with me. <sighs> Quite so the weather we're having. What you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Right, show me how Stand back. Not ahead. I win. Here's the page. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. How do I know that proper courtesy means to bow? I could, I'd make people bow when they approached me. I knew it! I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. 
but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry yeah, they could is. get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just yeah, not sure what. I'd agree with that. Uh. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Seems like a good idea. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. I think you should keep wherever you find yourself. Therefore, I can stay safe. As someone always told me, always wear your armor. It's right, I'm just trying to zip up. I'm in a sleeping bag. <laughs> to stay warm and uh, just trying to zip it up very complicated mechanism a zip okay, there we go I'm in alright what should we do next uh, so we need to find four there's four more in Hogwarts there's one in the library I go next. One in South Wing. What is South Wing? Travel here. I just want to have a look to see if we can find a demigod statue. God, my phone's so gonna die. It's not a good thing before the start of the day. Eh? Okay, so that puts us here. So it's either kind of left or right. See what happens if we go right. music classroom. Revelio. Okay, 
seems a bit stupid, but that highlighted. Confringo. I can't. I just wonder if I could. is a salamander, not a squid. And then... 3 plus 1 is 4. So we get 3. Oh no. It's trapped me. I feel like that we can just go to the top of this metal tower thing, that's quite cool. Demi got a statue. Revelio. 
Revelia. A lot. Is there a sneaky room in here? Do you think anyone has found every secret passage in Hogwarts? Blown pod load with my sleeping bag. Alright, my hands are in now. Um, we should check out some of these houses as well. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Decision. Thank you. I don't really want the invisibility potion. That was a uh, spontaneity that made me buy anything. I really want or need it. I hope to see you again. Well, for now, any of Wigan World at the moment. Can I unlock any of these doors? I absolutely can. Hello, Hamora. What do we have here? A demi guys. No way. Walk into the first place. It's got a demi guy statue. Now, Demi guys. Nice. Oh, sorry. I definitely wasn't sleeping on the floor of your office room. Rebellion. Sir, we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. <laughs> uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, <laughs> sir. Because, sir, we'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. That was a bit harsh. <laughs> uh, they've definitely updated the game to um, more things going on. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Serena. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. 
You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgov. <sighs> He's a friend. Uh, am I glad to hear? Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, Avelio. but please, watch your back. I see a lot here. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Can I see any enemy statues? Oh, that was Necromancy is the one branch of the dark arts I know the hero to maintain. Oh, that's hard to do. 
Alohomora. Alohomora. Revelia. Some of them done. Uh. Some go. Unforgivable curse of Elio. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. Or as concerned as unforgivables with the ministry's permission. Well, it seems fair to me. What's up to imperious spout hole spamming? Hello, Homora. I can legalize. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. Did she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb.
I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. Can you walk faster? What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences formally to be insurmountable. It is the Lumos. reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Nice. Just take the moths to the flame. <laughs> Lumos. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Yeah, like I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please. Right, let's get on to the Tomb of Death. It's sealed. Moths? Curious. Well, I know what to do with moths. Malin's beard! the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. This is the way. Oh, 
I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Oh, in theory. Lumos. closer but how What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Down I go. No other way. Giant puzzle room. Lumos.
was I? Lumos. Just try to take the moth to the flame, you know? I thought it'd be. even more complex. Lumos. There's one. Lumos. This video. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Like, uh, subscribe, maybe take a look at my other videos. Uh, anything is pretty much appreciated. The dead Ashwinder. The like compatriots see, must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. And, um, Better show this to Lodgok. Well, uh. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. See you in the next one. Yes.